water shortage is going to be a major global issue in the future. According to the experts, there may be wars between countries competing over water supplies. But ironically, in the Middle East, water could be a catalyst for peace. In the final installment of our series of features from Israel, we find out how the country is working with its neighbours to develop solutions to the region's water problem. In the desert of southern Israel, the call for prayer rings out from a mosque. This is the home to the minority Muslim Bedouin tribe, who was spread out around 30 settlements in the area. Nomadic herdsmen for centuries, the Bedouin's way of life is very different from the rest of Israel. To survive in the desert, they have to value every drop of water. City homes are supplied with running water, but here the Bedouin have to carry their water from a nearby supply or install their own pipes. We have a fixed supply of water at a local school. We install the water pipe from there to get water. However, connecting a pipe to the central supply doesn't always guarantee water at the turn of a tap. If one household fails to pay their water bill, the Israeli government will cut off supply to the entire village. Shepherding the sheep, herding the horses and caring for the camels, the Bedouin existence is a world apart from high-tech Israel. How will this disadvantaged minority fare when world water supplies grow short? In Israel, 20% of the population are Arabs and members of other minority groups, such as the Bedouin. Religious, ethnic and territorial disputes have led to numerous conflicts between Israel and its Arab neighbors. One cause of the war has been water. Given the sensitive situation, Israel has a specialized mechanism in place to test its water for poisoning. We advocate the use of biomonitoring based on bacteria because the bacteria is very sensitive and it's very easy to handle. The key element, the key advantage of such a system is that it's very easy for the user to use. Using luminescent bacteria, the authorities can keep tabs on water contamination because when the microorganisms come into contact with strange chemicals, their luminosity changes, indicating that something is wrong with the water quality. Heavy metals, pesticides, weed killers and other poisons can be detected instantly. But with the easing of tension in the region, drop by drop, water could be becoming a catalyst for peace. This reverse osmosis membranes plant is helping purify water for neighboring Arabs in a joint effort to improve water quality. The initiative is supported by the Paris Center for Peace. It's not that the Israeli is coming to teach the Palestinian researcher, but they are working together and we've learned that this is the best uh, uh, way to uh, um, promote the peace between the people. The project is run by a team of Israeli, Palestinian and Jordanian researchers. The partnership between the traditional enemies shows that there is sometimes light at the end of the tunnel. Perhaps not all of Israel's water technology achievements are applicable to Taiwan, but their example shows that when you face up to a problem, the solution often appears.